The purpose of this screen is to enter details related to the proposed price. Your part number will already be visible since you entered it on the PO Procurement Details screen. However, if you decide that you want to change the part number, you can do that here. This is helpful if you want to copy a report that has a different part number. We'll cover this in another video. For now, there's no need to change what's entered. Clicking the input box for current delivery date allows you to type in a date using month, day, and year formats. To eliminate the possibility of formatting errors, click the calendar icon to bring up a date chooser. The date you enter in this box should refer to the midpoint of deliveries. This is used for escalation purposes in a later step. If you have only one delivery date, just enter it here. Current quantity and proposed price per unit refer to the quantity and price that were proposed by the supplier. Be sure to enter only the recurring price in price per unit. Non-recurring is handled separately in the next step. If your procurement has non-recurring costs, it needs to be broken out of the per unit price. The purpose of this is to ensure that the system maintains its accuracy. When you're done with this page, click Next.